Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video I'll be showing you how to work with tuplets in Dorico, the new music notation software from Steinberg. First, let's see how to input basic triplets. In Note Input, position the carrot where you wish to start. I'd like to input triplet eighth notes. So I'll select the eighth note in the Notes panel first, then click this button to create the triplet rhythm that I can then enter notes into. Dorico will continue to create additional triplets until I click the button again to switch them off, at which point I go back to entering regular eighth notes. One powerful aspect of the way this works is that once the triplet has been created, you are then free to enter whatever note durations you need. In this case, I can start with a quarter note and vary the note durations as I type. I can even start a triplet with a rest. To enter tuplets other than triplets, you use the popover. Remember to start by selecting the unit value in the notes panel, then press the semicolon key to show the tuplets popover. Now you can type any tuplet ratio that you need. I'm going to type 5 colon 4 to create 5 eighth notes in the time of 4 and press enter. Again, the tuplets are sticky meaning more will be created until you explicitly tell Dorico to stop by clicking the button, or you can always use the key command shift and semicolon. It might help you to memorize the key command if you remember that the tuplet ratio is often expressed using a colon. Dorico can handle very complicated tuplet rhythms with ease. This includes allowing tuplets to cross bar lines, and being able to change time signature, confident that Dorico will renotate the tuplets accurately and elegantly. Nested tuplets are created by simply starting a new tuplet in the middle of an existing one. Tuplets have several useful properties that give you complete control over how they look, including options to display the bracket or not, or how to format the number. If you choose not to display the number, then Dorico will show a signpost as a way of being able to reselect the tuplet and modify more of its properties. Signposts do not print or export when creating a graphics file, and if you would rather not see them while you are working, then you can switch them off via the View Signposts menu. If this video has been helpful to you, please consider liking it by clicking on the thumbs up button and you can subscribe to our Dorico channel to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.